Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a very, very long time since I actually uploaded a video and I know that my first video back was going to be what I got for my 21st birthday, but it's been way too long since my birthday, so I thought I'd just add what I can remember what I got for my birthday in this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a lot of things that I've been collecting over the past few months so it's going to be like a massive collective haul. Um, I've got things ranging from gifts that I got for my birthday, books, movies, a little bit of makeup and I've got all sorts of different bits and pieces and I haven't done this for a very long time so let's hope I do it okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to do it obviously by I've sorted it out into different sections in regards to books DVDs blah 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 so I'm just gonna jump straight into it and yeah so I'm gonna start off with something that I bought oh, it wasn't that long ago now um, I needed a new handbag um, so I went to a shop called Colette um, and they do amazing handbags and amazing wallets and it's a bit more on the pricier side but I don't mind spending that much if it's going to be a good quality handbag that's going to last me a very long time. So I got this handbag from Colette. Um, it does come with like an over sh the shoulder strap which I keep inside the handbag because I don't use it all the time. Um, it's really big. <laughs> it's... It's beautiful, I love the colour of it, I love the little tassel on the end of it. Um, this was originally marked at $65 or something like that, but I got, I think it was like 20 or 30% off, so it only cost me $45. Um, and while I was in Colette, I bought myself a new wallet as well, and it's a nice rose gold wallet. Got a wrist strap on it too, and this wallet cost me $30. And in this part here, it's got like all my cards and photo of my nephew. Um, all my cards and everything, and then um, it's got the zip bit in it for your money. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is all the makeup bits that I've bought recently. There's not a lot, so that's why I'm doing it next. So, I can't remember if this is every single piece of makeup that I've bought um, since my last video. I can't remember what else I've bought or anything like that. So, I just got the bits and pieces that I knew that I remembered. Um, so, the first thing is I got two uh, Jeffree Star lipsticks. And these are my first ones. And they were actually bought for me for my birthday by one of my best friends. And I got the shade Dream House and Mannequin. I absolutely love this colour. I haven't actually worn this one out anywhere. I want to do a makeup look that goes with this. But um, yeah, I absolutely love them. Great pigmentation. They last a very long time. And they're just very beautiful. Like, Jeffrey's done a very good job with these lipsticks. The next lipstick that I got was a Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream by Astralis. I heard a bunch of mixed reviews about Velour Lips, like they're very drying, they crack and all that. Um, I don't I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I did create an ombre lip look with it ages ago, but I was just mucking around. This one's in the shade Shanghai. Um, it's a beautiful colour. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. We'll see. Uh, the next lipstick that I bought was the Katie Cat Matte Lipstick. Sorry, my phone's going. Hello? Hello. Yes. I'm at home, why? I was gonna say, depending on what time 
Yeah, well, I'm just, um, I'm in the middle of filming a YouTube video at the moment. As I was saying, I went and bought a Katie Cat matte lipstick, um, and it's Katy Perry's collaboration with CoverGirl. And this is the shade that I got. It's in the shade Sphinx. Sphinx? I don't, I don't bloody know. I don't even think it's going to focus on it. Um, but yeah, that's the lipstick I got. I'm, I like it. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'd get any other shades in the collection, but I was very iffy about buying it because I didn't know, I don't know, I'm not, I do love CoverGirl products, but I'm not a massive fan of them, like, I don't know, I like it. Okay, so the last lipstick that I bought was the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour. This one is in the shade Passion. Now, I've already got one of these in, I think it's called Addiction or something along those lines. And I bloody love these matte lipsticks. I love them. They have very long wear, they're very creamy to go on, they don't dry out your lips, they don't crack. The formulation in these are bloody beautiful, but the only downside is they're bloody expensive for that. I always wait until these go on sale um, to buy them because they're just too expensive to buy when they're not on sale, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I just love the formulation in these, the colour, the pigment is amazing. Um, yeah, high quality stuff for a drug brand, like for a drugstore brand. But definitely recommend trying these. They've got a range of colours and it's insane. Okay, the next thing that I bought is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in the shade Ivory. Now I bought this because I, sh I saw another YouTuber using it so I wanted to try it out and <sighs> I'm not the biggest fan. I love Rimmel, like Rimmel products are like one of my favourite brands and I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, like it's very hard to get the product out because yeah have to squeeze the tube and then the product comes out of like the little brush I think it would have been easier like if they put it in like a twisty penny like a twisty pen style um, um I don't know how I feel about it obviously I'm not gonna waste it and chuck it out I'm gonna use it but If the packaging was different and the way to get the product out was different, I'd probably like it. Um, the next thing that I got was the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Makeup Primer, um, and it's this one. Um, I like it. It does make my makeup look more matte than it does dewy, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of dewy makeup. I'm more like... I like my face to look matte, but I absolutely love it. Like you don't need a lot of it. It spreads. The coverage is amazing on it, and yeah, I just I love it. I don't want to say that I love it more than my Mac primer, but it's getting there to be honest. Um, and the last thing that I bought was the Kate Moss Rimmel London Highlight Contour and Blush Kit. I absolutely love any collaboration that Kate Moss does with Rimmel, but this is what it looks like, and I absolutely love it. This one's in the shade Coral Glow, um, and it does come in another shade. I'm not sure what other shade it comes in, but I just love the packaging. Um, I just love it. I love it. Um, the next thing I got is a perfume, and... I've been really digging my perfumes, um, so I got the Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. Um, I paid like 40 bucks for this, and I was a bit disappointed. 
It smells great and everything. But I paid $40 for a bottle that big. I thought the bottle was going to be bigger than that. $40 for that. For 30 mils, I paid 40 bucks. I absolutely love the smell of it. Like, it smells bloody amazing. I wish that you guys could actually smell it because it smells beautiful. And I love how she adds the little pom-poms on her bottles. I love it. I just reckon it's so cute. I do have the first one that she bought out, like her Ari one, which smells amazing, which I'm almost out of. I think last time I looked I was almost out of it. But yeah, so I bought that. Would definitely buy it again, but I'm gonna buy a bigger bottle next time. So the next thing I bought was stuff um, for uni because I just enrolled into uni and got accepted and I start uni on the 28th of August. Um, and I'm just so you guys know I'm doing a Bachelor of Criminal Justice and Criminology which I can't wait because it's something that I've always wanted to study um, so in turn of me getting that I went to typo and I bought a 2018 weekly planner I absolutely love like the cover I just love it like it's great. I also don't mind the sticky notes on the top. Um, I also bought the the journal, the matching journal that goes with it, and I just absolutely love the rose gold colour. Um, sorry, this this was twenty dollars, and the diary was seventeen. And I also bought the matching pen to go with it. And this was eight bucks, so very happy with my purchases from Typo. Okay, so the next things that I'm going to show you, I went to the Little Mix concert back in July as part of my birthday present, and I bought some merch, so I thought I would show you the merch that I bought. The first thing that I got was the Little Mix Glory Days tour program, and it's just got like pictures of them, like how. These girls are bloody gorgeous, and do you know what? They sound so amazing live, like, they don't sound any different to the radio, like, they sound bloody amazing, and it's just got little bits about them, and, um, yeah, it's great, I love it, I absolutely love it, look how beautiful are these girls? This, they're gorgeous. I also bought the set of four posters. I'm not going to take it out of the packet because I haven't got frames for them yet. But it's each girl's headshot and they've all, they've all been signed. Um, which I know that it's probably just printed on there and whatnot, but it's still signed. So was obviously when you go to every concert you've got to get a tour t-shirt and on the back it's got all the dates so I always buy tour t-shirts don't always wear them but I always buy them all right the next thing I'm going to show you is going to be a little bit difficult to show you but I got this for my birthday off my mum and it's like a memory like a memory board and it just looks like this I've put like photos and stuff like I've got a signed autographed picture from Jennifer Hawkins I've got a thingy that I got with my Sacconi Jolie calendar I've got um, I've got plane tickets and train tickets and I've got a concert ticket here. I just, all sorts on there. Um, but yeah, I got that for my birthday. Oh, another thing. I got this for, I got a new phone for my birthday. Um, 
just upgraded my plan and got a new phone. And I got the iPhone 7 Plus and I got I got this case with it, which I absolutely love. And I think I should do like a what's on my iPhone kind of thing, but I can't I can't do the in screen thing, so maybe I could do it a different way. But yeah, got the iPhone 7 Plus. Seeing I'm going to go on to DVDs. I've bought a lot of DVDs and got a lot of DVDs for my birthday. I've also, at the moment, got 11 away on Laybuy, which is a lot of DVDs. So I'm just going to show you some of the ones that I've bought recently. Um, the first couple is I got Season 2 and Season 3 of Orange is the New Black for my birthday off my mum. Absolutely bloody love this show. An amazing show. The third season of Rain. Absolutely lo bloody love this TV show too. I'm pretty sure... Actually, I'm pretty sure I got season two as well. And it's up on my shelf. But pretty sure I got season two and three for my birthday. But I got... There's one more season that I need to get. And I'm so sad it's not coming on TV anymore. Absolutely love this show. Honestly, if you're looking for a good, like historically based show to watch give rain a watch because they've modernized it a little bit and yeah it's good the next movie or movies that i got were the joan casper hit the road collection i love joan casper they're so funny and though i don't know them personally i am very proud of them they bought out two movies and it's bloody amazing anyway they're really good i've watched them they're great and yeah, I got them. The next movie I got was Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And I got this one for my birthday off my brother and his fiance. I absolutely fell in love with this. Like, I'm a massive Harry Potter fan already. But I was a bit sceptical about them bringing this out. Um, but I love it. I fell in love with it. It just... It's like Harry Potter never ended. I love it. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. It's really worth watching it. Uh, the next movie I got was Fifty Shades Darker. I absolutely fell in love with the books when they came out and then I equally fell in love with the movies. There's a big massive con controversy about these movies and about the books saying that they're too pornographic, but You've got to read past it, like you've got to read past all those sexual scenes and all that because there is a more deeper underlying story that's completely heartbreaking behind it. So, like, don't go into it, don't go in reading or watching it thinking that it's just one massive porno. Go in and try and understand the message behind why Christian Grey is the way Christian Grey is. Um, but I absolutely fell in love with these movies and the books and I cannot wait for Fifty Shades Freed. The next movie I got was The Fate and The Fate of the Furious, which is number eight. <coughs> I was also a bit skeptical to go watch this because I thought when they ended number seven, I said, right, that's it. They're not going to make any more. Um, what's the point making it when one of the biggest characters had died? And to be quite honest, it was so beautifully made. Paul Walker would have been proud. It was very beautifully made. It's funny. It's a great watch. There's lots of action. There's lots of humour. There's a bit of sad times in it, but I'm not going to spoil it, but when I went to see it in the movies, I was the only person since it came out that cried. Not going to spoil it. You'll probably understand why when you watch it. If you haven't watched it, and we'll, if you haven't watched it already, what are you doing? It's really good. The next movie I bought was The Fault Now Star. I've seen it before, read the book, absolutely amazing, but... The other day I was just sitting down and I was like, oh, I want to watch The Fault in Our Stars, but I didn't have it, so I went out and bought it. And 
Big W's having like a massive like discount on a lot of their movies because they're trying to compete with K well, trying to compete with Kmart. Um, so yeah, got it very cheap. It was like seven bucks or something. The next movie that I bought was About Time with Rachel McAdam McAdams in it. I don't know how I felt about it. This is probably it's it's that movie um, where this fella here can travel back in time through a cupboard or something. I don't know. It's probably something that I'm gonna have to watch again because I didn't quite understand what was going on. Like I got the gist of what was going on, but. It was one of those movies that chopped, that chopped and changed really quickly. And if you weren't paying attention, you'd miss it. But I think I'm going to have to watch it again. And I didn't realise, it goes for like two hours. What? The next movie that I got was, it was highly raved about. And it's The Girl on the Train with Emily Blunt in it. Um, I heard a lot of good things about about it and uh, I can't I think I think it's it goes it's something about her seeing someone get murdered or something I don't I don't bloody know I haven't seen it yet but I'm excited to see what the big the big deal about it was and do you know what I hope I like it because I've just wasted money buying it and if I don't like it, I'm going to be pissed. I hope I like it. And the last movie that I got was another very hyped up movie. And it was called Gone Girl. And it's got Ben Affleck in it. And Ben Affleck is my babe. Anyway, it's... Something go. his wife gets... Like, disappears. And they think that she's been kidnapped or... And then apparently they think that he did it. Or something like that. I haven't haven't seen it. Want to see it. See what it's like. Saw the trailer. It looked really good. As I said. Heard very good things about it. Um, yeah. Can't wait to see what it's like. Okay. Last. But no means least. And trust me. There's a bloody lot of it. I bought a lot of books recently. Because I love books. I really do. A lot of these I got for my birthday. The first one that I got for my birthday is a book about Adele. Probably obviously wasn't written by Adele. I don't know what the bloody hell it's about. But it's just a book about Adele. And Adele's my bae. I love Adele. I also went to her concert in Sydney in March for my birthday and it was it was amazing. I loved it. The next book I got was also for my birthday and it's called Before I Fall. I've seen this movie and I loved it. Um, it's one of those ones if you don't pay attention to what's going on and you're not going to understand what's going on. Um, but I want to see if the book's any different. I absolutely fell in love with the movie. Let's hope I fall in love with the book. The next book that I got was a book called Everything Everything. Now I know that this came out to be a movie but the movie wasn't showing where I live and I was really upset about it because I really wanted to go see it. Um, but it's just about a girl that's allergic to the world and she hasn't left her house in 17 years and she meets the boy next door. True love story. Haven't read it yet, excited to read it and heard great things about it. Sorry if it seems like I'm rushing through these books, it's just like there's a lot of them so I want to get through them so you're not all bored. This book that I got was is called The Sun is Also a Star by the same author that wrote Everything Everything. It's a the story of a girl and a boy in the universe. Don't know what it's about, never heard of it before. Excited to read it. The next book that I got for my birthday was a book on the recommendation of a big YouTuber who I'd seen the movie that's coming out to this or has come out to this. I don't know if the movie's coming out or if there is a movie coming out, but it, um, it was. I'm pretty sure this book was also in their like you know Zoella. She has a book club. 
pretty sure this book was also in her book club. Um, but it's called A Monster Calls. No bloody idea what it's about. Um, there's a monster at Connor's window. It's not one from his nightmare, but it wants the most dangerous thing of all from Connor. It wants to trick... Oh, pardon me. Um, so I'm excited to see what it's about. Find the movie somewhere and watch it. Uh, the next book that I got is a book called Spontaneous by Aaron Starmer. I've never heard, never heard of this book before, never heard of this author, so, sorry, sorry, A.A. Ron, never heard of your book before, never heard of you. Um, I could go on and read the blurb and tell you what it's about, but I can't be bothered, so I'm going to... Hold it up and hopefully it focuses on the blurb and you can screenshot it and read it. Um, the next book that I got was also on a recommendation from a YouTuber and it's called All the Bright Places by Jennifer Neven. I think that's her. Ow! I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Um, ah, see, as you can see, Zoelle has read it on the back. Um... I think it's just, a, I think it's a story about a boy and a girl, like a love, like a love story. I don't know. I've heard it's really good, like really, really good. So I'm excited to see what happens. Um, the next book that I got was also by the same author that wrote All the Bright Places and she wrote holding up the universe um my sister-in-law has started to read this and or she's read it and she said that it was very like she cried reading it um she's she's already a very emotional person sometimes so um i'll just see how sad it is when i read it but it's about a girl named libby and no one it's something she's got weight like something about weight issues and Everyone only sees her for her weight and not who she really is. And her mum's died. And lots of other things are going on. But I'm excited to read this and see what it's all about too. The next book that I got was is based... Well, a massive TV show was based off this book. Um, it was a very controversial TV show because a lot of people were saying that it was portraying things in a really bad way. But I think if you look into it too much, you're going to think, oh, that's a bit touchy to be talking about. And people always want to find things to pick, like to pick apart. And I thought it was a very beautiful TV show and I thought it was brilliantly made. So hats off to them for actually making it and... Like, it's something that needed to be done because it's something that needs to be talked about. And that was 13 reasons why I bought the book to go with it because a lot of people were saying that the book is completely different to what they portrayed in the TV show. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I'm excited to give this a read and see how different it was. I was very upset. Um... With how they kind of ended the whole fiasco. Fiasco? Fiasco. <laughs> That's fiasco. Um, yeah, I was very upset how they ended it all. Not going to spoil it. Um, can't wait for season two to come out. Do you know what else? I have been loving, and I should leave this for my favourites video. I've been bloody loving Riverdale. How come they ended that like that? Why did shows do that? They just think it's okay to end the show and then make you wait months for it. But, but Riverdale Season 2 is coming out on October 11th on Netflix. Hashtag no sponsor. Um, and also Stranger Things 2 comes out on the 30th or 31st of October on Netflix. Hashtag no spawn. The next book that I got was I got the girl on the train book to go with the movie. Because I love reading books as well as seeing the movie. And hopefully 
if I read the book first, it might give me a bit, in, a bit of insight as to what is going on in the movie, if you know what I mean. I've only got four books left. The next book, and I'm currently reading it at the moment, is the Gone Girl book. To be bloody honest with you, I can't understand. I'm only this, I'm only that far through it. But it's so hard to understand what the bloody hell is going on because it's very all over the place. But, you know, the more you concentrate on it, the more that you understand and then the more that I like it. Um, I don't know. Might get back to you on this one and see, let you know what I thought of it. Just don't expect it anytime soon because I take a very long time to read a book. Uh, the book that I got was a sequel to a book that I already have and it's called The Takeover which is the second book to Generation Next by Ollie White. Um, he's an amazing novelist like he's his work he knows how to write a book and the first one was so good I absolutely loved it couldn't put the book down and I went and I've been wanting to get this one for ages. Um, this one does say exclusive to WH Smith, but we don't have a WH Smith in Australia, so I will tell you why that sticker is on there. I order a lot of my books from a website called The Book Depository, and it's an English, like an England based bookshop, and they have any book that you can imagine. That's why this has got WH Smith, because this book is actually from England. Um, they have any book that you can imagine, and they do bloody free shipping anywhere in the world. Free shipping, and you could buy 60 books, it could weigh 100 kilos, and they will ship it for free. You also get a free bookmark, and sometimes you get free gifts inside. I got $400 worth of free wine vouchers. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I will leave a link for their website down below and again, I am not being sponsored to say that, but if you're struggling to find a book in store, jump onto the book depository because I can guarantee you they have the book up on there. As I said, loads of books, free shipping, sometimes free gifts and you get a free bookmark with every bloody book you buy and I'll leave the link down below. The next book that I bought was Charlotte Crosby's uh, Brand New Me book. I've read her first one. This one comes after um, Me, Me, Me because it's another biography that she wrote after the Me, Me, Me one and I I was I was in hysterics reading that. It was so funny like I thought it was it was amazing. So I bought her second one. Again I bought it off the book depository. I just Charlotte's amazing, like, she's come so far since the first days of Geordie Shaw, and I'm very proud of her, though I don't know her. I have interacted with the girl on Twitter, and I have met her. I have met her, and she's so much shorter in real life than, like, I couldn't believe how short she was. Like, she's not short, short, but she's not as tall as I thought she was, and she was very beautifully natured and I had a great time meeting her and we chatted on Twitter and it was amazing. Yeah, so I'm excited to read this and see what it's about. Anyway, I've got the last book in my hand. The last book that I bought is Wild Like Me by Louise Pentland. Um, if you don't know who she is, she's Sprinkle of Glitter on YouTube. Um, I'm glad that she, I thought when I first saw this, I thought she was bringing out like an autobiography kind of thing, but it's actually a novel and I'm so bloody excited because I love when creative YouTubers bring out novels because they're just so beautifully written and they're just so amazing. Like the story is great. Like I've never read a YouTuber's novel that I didn't like. Like, for example, Joey Graceffa, when he wrote Children of Eden, couldn't put the body book down, it was too good, and now he's bringing out another one called Elites of Eden, or 
something like that and it's coming out in October and I'm so excited to read it and yeah cannot wait to read this I might bloody do a review on it I think what I'm gonna do because I've just started up my new blog um, I re I've completely destroyed my last blog and started again and what I might do is I might do like a little review on each of the books after I've read them or mainly the mainly the youtuber ones or something like I don't know I will let you know what I like what what I thought of it though definitely all right guys that is everything that I can remember buying over the past few months I am so sorry that I haven't been posting very regularly um I want to really start getting back into YouTube but I'm as I said I'm just starting university so I don't I've got to find the time to do it and I'm babysitting five days a fortnight and yeah just don't walk away on me yet I mean I'm almost at 100 subscribers I'm like 15 off a hundred. Let's get to a hundred guys. Anyway, I hope that you guys like this video and if you do, please give it a massive thumbs up as it helps me out a lot. Don't forget to go down below and click that red subscribe button. Also click the bell next to it so you know when I upload so you're not missing out when I do eventually upload a video. Go down below and leave me some comments and some feedback and some video ideas. Tell me what you want to see because I don't have any idea what to film. <laughs> also share this video around with your friends so they can see what I bought and maybe go and buy a lot of it for themselves. I have left all my social media links down below including my new blog link. I've got some um, pretty sure my Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter is down there. It's all down there. Um, and yeah. Thanks again so much for coming and hanging out with me today and I hope to see you guys in the future sometime at my very next video. Till then, keep smiling, have a great day and just remember that everything happens for a reason. Very inspirational. Alright, bye guys.